Nerdo! How you doing, homie? Good, man. How are you? Nice of you to care. Can you hear me? It's me, Dwight Hubbard. Nordo's muted. Nordo's unmuted. Nordo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's All first, right. Matt? Nothing, Matt. Are you, well, we did the uh, whole bit on the show about the schedule. Yeah. Uh, so here we are. Let's just, we can rip through it again. We can talk about some things. Obviously, I'm super pumped about the opener. I love that we are opening against Green Bay. I love that. I love it too, man. I mean, you know, again, the one consistency that we've had is like, Let's get excited about something. Let's look forward to something with the season and the ability to just jump right off week one by hosting the Packers and just getting the border battle right out of the way. I mean, in terms of something to look forward to, it's badass. Can't wait, man. Yeah, it's sweet. I'm super pumped about just the hey, where are you yeah. right now? I'm in the main studio. Where are you? Oh, hey there. Are you? Oh, there I can see you. Sweet. I'm in the studio score where we fist bump and we socially distance and do all that yeah um so with this with the with one thing about the schedule dude i love the friday game when that it kind of leaked out earlier that the friday christmas day game everybody was like what and then there were you know what you can't believe everything that leaks out but then when you read it on the air and i saw it for the first time i kind of dig the christmas day afternoon game into a saturday one we can clank and drank and watch the game. It's just a perfect – I like the Friday angle. And as we said, and we can elaborate a little more now that we're not on the air. If I'm the NBA, I'm furious. I'm absolutely furious because you don't want to you, – now you have to compete with football. Yeah, that, that's the weird thing for me. I mean, this is the NBA's bread and butter, right? I mean, that's the NBA maximizing market share. And I think – you know, we've seen it kind of the rat race for all the other core four to get the most out of whatever holiday opportunities they have and market share that they can. The, the, the massive NFL piece of the pie and the rest of us just try to eat these crumbs uh, regardless. And, and you mentioned it on the air when we were on the radio. You know, even if the NBA starts late, they would want to maintain that spot, that placeholder on Christmas Day. Well, and who's to say that their their season next year, the 20, the 20, uh, 20, 20, 20, 21 season, doesn't start Christmas Day? That's been floated out. Now, if you're the NBA, you're going, what are you doing, NFL? At least have the game the day after Christmas. But it'll be a captive audience because a ton of people will be home. So good for the NFL, and I can't wait for that game. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I love any time that the Vikings and Saints match up. And, you know, I still even look back to 2018 when you're about to score and go up 20 to 10. And then the tough fumble by Thielen goes the other way. And P.J. Williams with the pick six and all of that. So, you know, these games are always badass, just dogfights. And so the ability for it to be on Christmas Day, open some presents in the morning and hopefully – be able to still celebrate around six, seven o'clock that night. It's going to be awesome, man. But I find it interesting. We go three straight against the AFC South in the first four weeks there, right after the border battle. And I think that that division in itself, when you go week two at Indy, week three hosting the Titans, and then week four at Houston, I mean, you know, we can be ex as excited as I am about the border battle. The reality is, I mean, that is a tough ass first four games, man, isn't it? Yeah. The, well, of course. Anytime you start with Green Bay, and who knows by the time we face Green Bay, you know, on uh, November first, who knows if that's not Jordan Love, you know? But okay. that is a tough schedule. I'm kidding, but that is a tough. That's an extremely tough schedule right out of the gate. Indianapolis is super improved, and they don't. They know who their quarterback is going to be instead of having their one guy you know, basically retire last off season. So they know who their guy's going to be. Tennessee is of course a final four team and Houston. I mean, they got rid of Deandre Hopkins, but they've upgraded a little, they got, you know, a couple, they, they've got running, you know, they're, they'll be fine. Plus they got Laramie Tunsil. They have a great offensive line, even though they played horrible last year. And then you end it the first five games at stupid ass Seattle. Why? 
Why are I'm annoyed, you always man. playing it same? I'm annoyed because when I look like hell, and two, I'm annoyed that about that. That sucks so bad. We have. Uh, I said it to you on the radio as well. We've lost six straight to the Seahawks. We haven't won in Seattle since 2006. It's been that long. And yeah, the last two Monday hideous. night games, one of which was the blocked field goal from Dan Bailey. I think maybe it was Frank Clark or whoever jumping over the long snapper. And then Justin Coleman with the fumble return touchdown. Weird stuff always happens in Seattle. We fought our way all the way back. Lacan Treadwell untouched. Uh, just weird mishaps in every single game that we play those guys. And it pisses me off that it's going to be another primetime game uh, week five. And again, that just adds to it. The first five weeks are impossible. I mean, that's that's going to be the talker leading up to it is the absolute gauntlet of hell that this team has to go through uh, just before they get it home and maybe an improved uh, Falcons team week six. This is a one in five start. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, now that I – but then the second half of it is a little bit better, and the best part is the three straight home games. I love that. Yeah, that's sweet, man. And it's it's all NFC North right out of the gates. It's at Green Bay. You host Detroit. And then Monday Night Football against the Bears. I mean, you know, we can not joke or be serious or fear the Soldier Field-related lore over the last 15 years. So uh, that could be a struggle in itself. But the Monday Night Football game's cool. You know, that's the last – I mean, other than Christmas afternoon, which clearly is a primetime game, we only have two night games on the schedule as of now. And so, like you mentioned on the air, of course, there's some flexibility. If uh, the Vikings don't start one and five, you can go week – you can look at week 14 and flexing Tampa into primetime. Yep. Uh, you can look at De yes. possi possibilities like that with Tom Brady down there in Tampa. But well, week eleven at Dal at versus Dallas, that could be flexed into prime time unless Fox has protected that game. And I and I'll say this: I think Dallas, like rooting for Dallas, hurts me a little bit. That that concept, like, I'm, I'm just not ever going to root for the Cowboys. But how about that game we played down there last year? Just a slug fest right down to the wire. Dak Prescott, I think, I think, I think Dak Prescott's a winner, to be honest with you, or at least yeah. he has the tools and the mentality to win. Uh, the O line, if Zeke's a little bit better, they add CD Lamb. I mean, that's some firepower from hell. So, you know, if you can, you know, if yeah, you so get that breath. game, yeah, absolutely. No, you're, <laughs> yeah, have a cup of coffee and stand 10 feet away from me, please. Um, yeah, I have to anyway. But it starts uh, that three-game home stretch. I can't remember the last time the Vikings actually played without a bye week or something. Three straight home games. I mean, that's sweet. And we get to see yeah. Teddy back at U.S. Bank Stadium. Yeah, I love that. I love the way that this laid out in the second half. The first half's brutal. I mean, you could argue that all four of those – all the first five teams are all playoff teams. Green Bay, obviously, they went to the Final Four last year. They were in the NFC Championship game. Well, literally, Indy, four yeah, of ahead. them were playoff teams last year, and the Colts only were not a playoff team because they thought Jacoby Brissett could win them games after Andrew Luck retired. Well, and Atlanta's been beat to hell by injuries. All these first six games, all six of these teams could be in the playoffs. I yeah. mean, I don't know if the math works, but it just sounds better to say. Well, I think Atlanta is still ultimately going to be odd man out when you think about putting Tom Brady in that division. Drew Brees is still Drew Brees. Um, I root for Teddy, but it's I, it's not like I, I don't think that he's a proper replacement for Cam Newton. I just don't. I hope he's great, you know, except against us. But uh, this schedule shapes out really, really freaking cool. Uh, hosting Chicago. I don't like going on the road last week of the year, though. No, I don't either. But it's Detroit. And what I said on the air is there's a really good possibility, excuse me, that the uh, Detroit Lions will be fighting the uh, New England Patriots for the worst record in football, and they're fighting for uh, Trevor Lawrence. Okay. I don't mind that. I, I mean, mean, Detroit's awful. Matt Patricia will be fired halfway through the season. His pencil bit's as dumb as my Whalers at. Give that bit up. That looks dumb. He just looks dumb. And he looks like me. Actually, I kind of look like Dom DeLuise right now in this outfit, but that's besides the point. That game will be a that'll be a 
they'll roll through Detroit. They always beat Detroit, right? I don't think they – hold on. Rewind. When was the last time they beat Detroit at home? This last year. Okay, well played. Other than that, though, it had been But they hadn't – I mean, didn't they lose the first three years? Yeah, they, they I mean, they lost the Delvin game. He got hurt. 2017. But yeah. Yeah, they've lost. I think you're right. I think Detroit had beat them every time except for last year. No, they won in 2019 or 2018 as well. Daniil Hunter had that fumble recovery touchdown. What do I know? Why am I even on and the this three and a half sacks. show if I don't know what the hell I'm talking about? Do we have more than 70 viewers? It's because we love you. I don't know how many viewers we have. I'd settle for I'd, I'd settle for 71. What about you? Yeah, that's a good number. That's probably my IQ. Um, yeah, man, there's a lot of great things with this schedule. I love it. I I just like the fact that the NFL is, you know, there's a lot of scariness out in the world. But this is, what, five, four months away. This is some hope, Nordo, and I love that. I love that about the NFL. All through the offseason, they've given us hope. Corey, my God, is that Damian or Corey Cove or both? I think that's Corey Cove. Aren't you guys doing a happy hour bit tomorrow? Yeah, and this same thing, 7 p.m. tomorrow, thanks to a Bud Light Seltzer and Michelob Golden. How good I would got some, it right. How good would some clankers be right now? It'd be amazing. How good would some Bud Light Seltzers be? I'm in. So, yeah, I, I mean. So the weird thing about this, and, and you know, as, as more caveats to the schedule pop in my head, maybe I'll, uh, I'll try to woo you with them. I'm still, per, I'm still just intrigued by the concept of a couple of things. So like earlier this week, the, the Dolphins come out and they say, hey, you know what? Uh, just in case we got this mock plan where, you know, 65,000 people can fit in our stadium down at Hard Rock. But, you know, we have a plan to put 15,000 in early on and what that looks like and social distancing procedures and keeping everybody clean, keeping everything fresh. You know, they, they were certified by some I don't know. It sounded like a made up organization that said we know about sanitizing public venues, et cetera. But, you know, the border battle, as sweet as it is, you know, the concept of potentially having a border battle at a U.S. Bank Stadium without fans. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, it's super weird. But, you know, I uh, that is really weird. I hope it doesn't turn out that way. But if it does and we have football, that's awesome. That is awesome if we have that. Uh, Power Trip Rocks. Abbott's telling us to read the comments. So now yeah, we're just going to do comment. that. Power Trip Rocks. Thank you. Okay. We like that one. I mean, are we just going to sit here and wait until the comments come out? That's what Abbott wants. Uh, Joe Savage. Jags. Okay. I don't know who the hell that is. Okay. That's Nord Nords. I'm Dwight Hockey. I don't know what Good. that is. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Okay, just, good. I'm just going to wear that ICP out. is better than Dave Matthews. There we uh, go. I hope you get canker sores on your private parts. Well, if is that Dov? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember is... when we asked, remember, this is what Abbott loves. Remember when we asked Dov to name one band better than ICP, and then we played a song, and he goes, that one's not good. They're all bad. They're all terrible. All terrible. There's no explanation for Anybody liking Insane Clown Posse? Oh, hi, Zach Halverson. This is great, guys. Can't wait to spend Christmas with you. Ho, ho, ho. That'll be great. We should have a Christmas uh, crock pot. How about Zach Daniels with some eggnog on Christmas Day watching a Vikings victory? I had a lot of three putts. Common and I later at 8, we're going to play, I don't know where, probably Facebook Live. Common and I recorded a golf bit. I was awful. I, I could really go for a dome dog right now. That would be delicious. Yeah, me too, as a matter of fact. I'm starving. How about stadium Sauce, do you hot wear? Do you wear that shirt every time you go golfing? No. It's I mean, a lit shirt. Yeah. That's, a, that's a waggle yeah. bit, right? Yeah, it's an over... Yeah, it's a... Yeah, I love it, yeah. Uh, Kent Jackson, yeah, your thoughts of. on Friday football? It's kind of weird. It's weird, like, but it's sweet. My wife's going to be annoyed at the fact... I mean, we do Christmas morning... You could have stopped right there. I, yeah, exactly. I pretend to be Santa, take care of the toddlers, and then, you know, the day progresses. The kids get hundreds of dollars of toys are spoiled, and, uh, and the day goes on. The ability to watch a Vikings game on Christmas Day is elite, man. I mean, that just yeah, kicks well, ass. Yeah, and it's, and it's, it's a compelling game. It's not like 
okay, can they beat Matthew Stafford, et cetera? No, this is a rematch of last year's wild card game. That's awesome. Ooh, what do you guys see? Are you ready to predict? Are you a are you a pontificator in May, Saucy? Yeah. Okay, I'm just um, gonna, I'm gonna read them. You give me a W or an L, okay? Okay. All right, Green Bay week one. Win. Okay. Add Indy. Win, because they always play well against Phillip. There we go. Tennessee at home. Win. At Houston. Win. Okay, so we're four and zero. Oh. You said we were gonna start one and five like two minutes ago. I say I like a lot it. of things, Nordle. Okay, at Seattle week five. That's definitely a loss because Seattle yeah. sucks and we always play there and I, that town sucks. All right, four and one. At uh, hosting Atlanta. Win. Okay, so we are five and one into the bye. Let's do this damn thing. Okay, week eight at Green Bay. Yeah, uh, that's a loss. Damn it, five and two. Hosting Detroit week nine. Win. Six and two. At Chicago, Monday Night Football week 10. Loss. Uh, six and three. This blows. Okay, week 11, hosting Dallas. Win. Seven and three. Hosting Carolina. That's a win. Teddy Bridgewater is the most overrated quarterback in the NFL. Eight and three. Three game home streak comes to a conclusion with Jacksonville. Are we nine and three? Yes, because. Gardner will be benched by then, and who knows who will be their backup. Nine and three when we head to Tampa Bay, which means the game Lost. might be flexed into prime time. So that means we're nine and four. Uh, and then week 15, hosting Chicago. Win. Ten and four at New Orleans on Christmas Day. That's a win. We always beat New Orleans when it doesn't matter, even though we beat them last year in the playoffs, but you know what I mean. We're they 11. have New Orleans number. We are 11 and four, always play the Saints well. I agree with you. 11 and four into week 17, January 3rd at Detroit. What do you got? We're going to win. Detroit is going to, they're, they're, they're going to, yeah, they're going to roll out an awful. Oh, oh hey, hey. Whoa! Yeah. He's got too much of Bella Danger on was, his phone. He was on his way to uh, the latest Riley Reed production. Yeah. He accidentally <laughs> he's clicked hoping, the... He's hoping Riley Reed plays like tackle for a second. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, Hog! Hey! hey! What's up, homie? Nice how come I can't hear sauce? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how to work these newfangled machines. Well, you look beautiful. Oh. Thanks, man. The allergies are going to kill me. I'm going to get a fork and scratch my eyeballs out of my head in a minute. But I'm so excited about this NFL schedule, dude. Saucy has us going 12 and 4, hockey. Yeah, I took a look at it. I couldn't find more than two losses. Tickle I'm me? not going to lie to you. Can you hear me? I can now. Hi. Hey, are you still a Neanderthal? Yeah, I'm I'm always going to be Neanderthal. Have you seen this forehead? Hold on. Let me show you. That's him. <laughs> Yeah, between the uh, the herpes, the forehead, all the other things that go along with being an animal. Should I start yelling what you're into on the internet again? No, I wouldn't like that at all. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm hockey, how, that... about, how about going to Seattle again? You know, I can't understand why. I was just talking to my wife about it. I mean, it's like they're doing me a favor. It's a free trip to see my son, and we seem to go there every year. I'm glad we go there early. That'll be cool. You know, there's some really fun trips for us, though, this year. Even in the preseason, my 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 father's favorite team my whole life has been the Cleveland Browns. So I'm finally going to get to go take him to a Cleveland Browns game. Go and ahead, Kevin Stefanski reunion. Yeah, yeah, that'll be huge. So that's cool. Uh, the second week of the season, I believe it is the second week, we go to Indianapolis. That's my old home stomping grounds. That'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. Um, the You know, the only real drag on the schedule, obviously, is Christmas Day in New Orleans. But if we stay at the same hotel we stayed at last year, it's literally attached to a casino. Merry Christmas to Daddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you might not even go to the game, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the greatest birthday ever. Will you actually make it to the game? I was at that uh, yeah. casino during the preseason last year. You can get lost in that thing. Let me tell you, man. I, and I, I saw Steve knows this, Nordo. This is the absolute, uh, as my grandpa would say, this is the God's honest truth. I have never been beat up more at a casino than I was at that casino before that playoff game last year. It was my worst performance at a casino ever. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. 
Yeah. I just want, I would like KC? to go to New Orleans when it's not 100 degrees and 100% humidity. Right. Yeah, and you got to believe that a Bourbon Street on Christmas Eve is going to be beautiful, right? I mean, it'll be sweet. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, yeah. That means you'll have to be there Christmas Eve. That sucks. Yeah, it's okay. I'm almost 50. That will, yeah, Maybe you'll I'll be just... almost 50 that day. Oh, my God, that will be your birthday. Yeah, I'll be 50. Hey, hey, Cam. Sorry. This is a live Cam. campaign big Cam. time Cam. broadcast. We're broadcasting Cam. to thousands of people right Cam. now. Cam, to be Cam. A big time your husband's broadcast. into upskirt porn. Someone called me. That's your birthday. I know it's my birthday. She's so drunk. Stop it. Oh, honey, come on. Oh, she's not drunk. Ooh. I love you. Well, you know what, Hawk? If, if you're a Neanderthal, I'm the missing link, okay? I mean, that's that's the reality <laughs> of this situation, so... I don't know. You know, I, I, I just, I hope, um, I'm sure you guys have said the same thing. It just feels like there's some normalcy in the world right now, seeing that there's a schedule out there, seeing that there are actually dates in the future where there are going to be fun things happening. I can't even imagine Green Bay at home for the opener, whether there's fans in the stadium or not. I'm just super excited about that. But the schedule itself looks like a, a really cool time. Again, I still don't understand why we're going to Seattle again, but I'm glad we are. Yeah, I, I don't get it at all, man. Just give us, just give us some morsel of positivity to bring them here but you know creating goals in the future and then doing whatever the hell you can to meet them I mean that's what the NFL is trying to do right now so you know whether it's fans in the stands or ultimately we're watching these teams play just the hint the idea in May right now with this massive clipping penalty we're all enduring uh yeah. God bless it my brothers yeah yeah absolutely uh, you know I, I saw the schedule but I really wasn't able to see what individual days were the games? Do we have many Monday night football games? Do we have many Thursday night football games? You know, that's a good question. Yeah, Seattle's Milwaukee. a Monday night game, right? Yeah, Sunday we night. only we only have uh, one, one Monday, Monday night, football night football Chicago, and one November Sunday 16th. night football game. And I'm glad you asked that question. I feel kind of stupid right now. I don't know if we have. I don't know where our Thursday night game is. If we have it. I'm not seeing how the math adds up right now. Maybe our Thursday night game is the what Christmas is game. Maybe it's our Friday night game. You're right. Maybe that's yeah. our version of yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't think what we week? have a Thursday night game. Oh, what there we week go. Are we looking at the buy there? I, I don't see very well without my glasses on. What week is the buy? No, that's fine. Week seven. Uh, yeah, week seven. That's a good. That's good. That's a good week for the buy, and I'll tell you why. That's a good week for Vegas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait, dude. Yeah. Hey, I you, love the bye week. How are you guys handling the power trip Vegas thing? Do you do you have any immediate plans or just kind of like when we get an opportunity, we'll uh, we'll get back out there and love our friends again? Yeah, sort of. I mean, we literally, right, Sus, we were waiting on today to find out when the bye week was to take a look at it and decide whether or not we were going to be able to do it either. I, I think one way or another, the power trip is going to Vegas on the bye week. Whether or not uh, we take listeners with us is a whole other yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going 100%. Whether the listeners come or not, that's their deal. But yeah, we I go every it. bye week. So you're coming, Nordo. Hawkins yeah. going this year. Yeah, we're all going. So the listeners can – I mean, it's a public city. They can go if they want. <laughs> but, no, I, you know, honestly, I think that's a great uh, opportunity for us to uh, to reschedule the trip for then uh, because that's, you know, that's pretty early in the season. So it's not too close to the next year's Vikings, or I should say Vegas trip. So we get out there, we spend our money, we party, and then people are rejuvenated over the Christmas time to get ready for uh, Power Trip Vegas 2021. Man, this is sweet, guys. It's tough for me to find a loss on the schedule right now. We're talking about football games that count. Yeah, I mean, back in Cincy, week two of the preseason, you get to see uh, Kevin Stefanski week three. Yeah. Uh, just let me know which one of those two. Probably Cincy, right? You'll let me get. You'll get. Let me get my yearly preseason road trip in. That would be great. You take Cincy, and I'll take Cleveland. That way, I can go to a Browns game with my dad. How about that? Oh, that sounds awesome. Well, Hockey, man. are you mad uh, that uh, because there's going to be football on Christmas Day, the NBA won't be on? Uh, you know what? I'm going to find a way to have a TV on in the uh, broadcast booth so I can make sure I stay up to get to date on my hoops. I love my hoops. Well, you yeah. should ask Kim if uh, you can just buy Cam. her TV for the, uh, for the living room. Kim! Kim! What? I need a TV to take with me on the trips. No. Kim! No. I'll be in New Orleans on uh, Christmas Day. Can I get a hooker? It's my birthday. 
only time that my name has two syllables is when you're drinking. But I'm not drinking. Yeah. Are you drinking? Really? No, I'm not drinking. What? Cam. Cam. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can I'm make just... your guys' day twice too. You How's know what's that? coming in? You know what's coming in the studio tomorrow at eight? Food from the loon. Oh, that's pretty good. Can I yeah. tell somebody? Can I tell everybody else a little secret? Can I tell you everybody a crab? else a secret? <laughs> you slept that's with a secret. zero. That's only a secret to my wife. Um, <laughs> Kim. 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 That's funny. Everybody, else, everybody, everybody's yelling Kim right now on the chat. That's pretty funny. Um, Abbott's texting us to wrap up. No one cares, Abbott. We're having fun. Wrap up. Yeah, Cam. That means we're staying out for another 45 minutes. Yeah, don't encourage it. Cam. Uh, no, for real. Uh, yeah, Jefferson Lions to Tampa. I love that idea, too. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, uh, why not? Steven can drive us anywhere. That is, yeah. uh, that's one hell of a road trip right there. Cam. Cam. Oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> right. Last thing. Last thing. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. The return of Mark Parrish to the Power Trip Morning Show to play initials. Yeah. Wow. Oh! Yeah. He's back and he's better than ever. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Wait. Am I cross-eyed? Damn. Yeah. I can't tell. Are you drunk? This no, eye hasn't worked drunk. in about six months. <laughs> I'm drinking water, bitches. Wow, return of Perry, man. That's sweet. I'm going to hug wait. him. Yeah. I'm going to hug him from 6.1 feet away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where'd he go? Where'd Sauce go? I don't know. He's he found out about uh, some sort of uh, free Brazzers trial, and so he we've lost him. There's there's no doubt about that. No, I'm back, Wayne. Oh, there we go. Where you so we got the loon. We got Perry tomorrow. Perry? That's sweet, man. There's text and uh, yeah, loon and Perry. What a great combo. And oh, we yeah, got man. a Viking schedule to break down. No PA tomorrow, but it's a it's a charge filled feast tomorrow. We'll have Chad Greenway on. And hey, Hawk, uh, when's our happy hour tomorrow? It's a very good uh, question. Um, I'd go, o'clock. how about 110? Damn. <laughs> here's, here's what I will say. Uh, Nordo. Yeah. Uh, since I joined you guys tonight, will you join us tomorrow night for a happy hour for a minute? Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I'm not drunk right now, but I will definitely be drunk tomorrow night. Same. A as I exit this place, Sauce, get back on the screen. Put your thing. Thing back in your pants. Hey! Oh, oh boy! Hey. Hey. Speaking of browsers. Hey! What's going on? Hey, hey Nordo! Hey, speaking Damn. of Bella Danger, what's going on? <laughs> you know, yeah. hey, what's up there, Seahawk? What up, this Paul? is we the Avengers. Favorite. Wait, I'm let me uh about... hold on. I got uh, I gotta minimize this busty. Hold on. Okay, Damn. there you guys are cool. Hey, hey. this is Will nice. You, favor? Uh, you and I are gonna be having Christmas Eve on my 50th birthday in New Orleans together. Yeah, for sure. You're you're going to be there for sure, right? I'm yeah. Going. I'm I, I'm going. We're you know what? Fun, so. Yeah, you know what, ma'am? If I um if I run Harris Casino in uh in New Orleans, what's uh, happening? As you as you walk up those stairs into the place, I just give you $4,000 and say head the other way. Done. That's how easy it is for you. Hey, Nordo, done, great done. job on the radio the last two days. Hey, thanks, homie. Do we have any losses on the schedule yet? Well, it's um after um Can you after guys hear him? A, after Abbott uh, came clomp. Excuse me. After Abbott asked me to um uh, to hit that link and come in here and talk about Lexington. Uh, excuse me. The uh, the Viking I schedule. Can't hear Lexington, Steve. Um, yeah, uh, everybody can hear everybody, right, man? I'm good. I can hear Hawk. I can hear Hello. Nordo. Yeah, look at Sauce, man. Just mess. No, what the hell is Sauce Jeff wearing? Rafton. You look like you look like uh, I can't hear him. You look like Jesper Parnovic. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you look like Jesper Parnovic. Hockey like, doesn't yeah. know who he is. All right, let me get to, let me get, no let me get to this dumbass point that I'm trying to He's make. He's so excited right now. So He's I so just, animated. So I just did um a we big Vikings, anything you saying. Big Vikings virtual happy hour. Lieber, Tafoya, Charles Davis, Cousins, whole thing. You know, and and oh, it was sick. it it was right. laid it <laughs> it was laid out like. You know, what? Uh, what's your favorite game on the schedule? What's your favorite this, favorite that? Let's go the other way in patented fan fashion. When looking at this schedule, what's the least favorite game on the entire schedule? At uh, Seattle. 
Well, that but it's at Russell Wilson. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, it was my idea, Nordo. What's your least favorite game on this schedule? Nordo can't hear you. No. Look at him. No, no, no. I can't no. hear anything. Nordo, Nordo what's your least favorite his... game on the schedule? Nordo sinking into his body. Yeah, hey. my least fa- my least favorite game on the schedule has to be Seattle by ten miles. My second, however, would be uh, would be Tampa. I'm a big Tom believer, and I think that's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I guess I guess we're looking at it differently because I'm like Jacksonville at home, <laughs> and I can and I can do hey, hey, you know what, biatches, I can do that in my house because it's my house and ain't nobody around me but my dog. Are you motorboating your dog? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> you guys accused me of being drunk. Well, Abbott, Abbott wanted me to come into this thing, oh man. It's an off day. I rode on the show page. Did a Vikings oh virtual God. happy hour. Got this scooch made dog tripping out over there. <laughs> you cracked so like, the purge. You oh, no, cracked. Oh, crack. no, I'm back. I'm back. I, yeah, I just needed a couple of days off. I'm good now. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> Did you motorboat a ghost? <laughs> Kim, Kim just put the house up for sale. Kim! I couldn't. Um, I was gonna try Kim! to. I was gonna try to come clomping in um, earlier, but I could. I didn't. You know, being fifty-four and dumb, I didn't uh, hit the allow mic uh, camera thing, so I didn't get a chance to show you guys. I don't know if you're familiar with a Mexican restaurant in Edina called Los Padres. Anybody heard of it? It sounds sounds amazing. Oh, my my daughter's friend. My daughter's friend's family owns it. So we like, you know, copyright the Power Trip Morning Show, support the small businesses. I I had the best uh, asada burrito from this place, Los Padres. Oh, my God, was it good. Can I say something quick? We're all about to get a text from X videos that their viewership is way down because all four of us are busy at the same time. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't talk like that. I, yeah, I, mean, I can. No, you can't. I'm a I'm a professional play-by-play guy in the NFL. Damn it. You can't talk like that. <laughs> Hold on a sec. It's, never mind. It's you, porn. <laughs> Look, uh, Troy, uh, What? by the way, what is this device we have? This thing is fresh. That's a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not fresh. Okay. <laughs> oh hey, God. does anybody want Stop. to smell my finger? Yeah, Barrero oh! does. Yeah, Barrero does. How about how about uh, this is so much looser than the like the ever the Vikings thing and everything. It's like, uh, but anyway, God bless the Vikings. I love you. But um, how about draft night? You know, Nordo and I are really happy that that we came up with some bid or whatever. Like ten minutes in front of the draft show that oh, Thursday, boy. Here so we go. fist bump and Barrero legitimately gets mad. So then I didn't know if like as I was walking into the studio if he was serious or whatever with something he joked, and then I'm like. Do you want to smell my finger? And I mean, he went down the hallway. And then I'm like, can I lick my finger and touch your arm? And then he just went that much faster. And, and that's cool. how we're really handling happened? it here. Cool story. That really happened? That really happened. Mm-hmm. How about yeah, that was night. You're my man. What? You're what? my man. I love that. Eh? Will you motorboat the air again? Ah! Here he goes. Do you like <laughs> My heart's stopping. Why do you guys like that so much? It's funny. Well, the combo of the motorboat, and I can't tell whether it was the right or left nipple from hockey. <laughs> are, are we supposed to be doing all this, like being as wild as we are? I don't, I don't know. know. Things are different we now. Have- do we have more than 70 viewers? Oh, yeah. look at this, man. Now we got messages off on the right, and somebody's yeah. like, we're PA with a, oh, okay, go ahead and do that. Yeah, go ahead and do that. We'll see what happens on your Twitter feed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah K-Fan Twitter, when uh, when you need me to help with retweets, come on oh, back boy. and ask them now, biatch. Woo! <laughs> hey, would you guys uh, do me a favor? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get off here and let you guys really talk about football. Uh, yeah. On account of that, we all yell my wife's name together at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Three, uh, two, one. 
Bossy Buffy. <laughs> what did you say, Paul? Busty Buffy. <laughs> Your name's Busty Buffy? No. Kim. Hey, Kim. Let, let me see you. Kim. Oh. Kim. No. Sick, hey, you. sauce. Copyright you. Sick brag on that fresh kitchen. Thanks, man. Right. Oh. Hey, sauce. Sauce. Quick brag on the wood wood burning fireplace. Oh, nice. Sick Sweet. brag. Did you turn it on? What? Have you turned it on yet? I can't hear you. <laughs> he wants to know if you turned it on. Uh, got him. Hey, oh, look at this. Good I, God. A, 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 Why don't they keep question? switching? I don't know. Somebody yeah. wants me out of this thing, so it's an off day. I got to go here soon. Hey, Nordo, why the hell are you still at the radio station? Uh, well, why? Sauce and I were live from 6.30 to 7 in direct competition with Ben Lieber, Kirk Cousins, and like eight other luminaries on Vikings.com. Yeah, but uh, but you move the meter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt Prove about it. that. One inch at a time. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is cool, uh, man. Is this the first day of this thing? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing it tomorrow with uh, um, the, the Power Trip. We're doing like a, a hangout tomorrow night. Oh, that sounds yeah. exciting. Thanks. Yes, <laughs> yes, okay. yes, okay. yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, if anyone's uh, interested, I guess. Oh, uh, I can't wait, man. I'll be there. It'd be cool. Hey, be great. can we get a, a Cousins to Jefferson touchdown call? Um, okay. Um, ah. Cousins takes the snap, fades to fire, looks left, pumps, fires right for Justin Jefferson. Intercepted Jair Alexander. No! But he fumbled, and it's picked up by Dalvin Cook, who lateral, laterals it to Justin Jefferson. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Saucy. It's beautiful. No, that wasn't worth it. I tried too hard. No, yeah, it's best right. in business. That was great. Yeah. Hey, Nordo, how come you're not right, doing this? Born. Nordo, how come you're not doing this Facebook Live by your Jeep? Sick brag with the Jeep, Nordo. <laughs> <laughs> Sauce, I got all your albums, man. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. my goodness. Garzy said I look like Dark Star more and more every day. <laughs> he does. You do. You look more like Dark Star every day. You really do. You're wearing your hat like Jesper Parnovic. Well, he's dressed like a golfer up top, but you should see the pants on he's got down low. I mean, yeah, let's he's, see. He's in full-on Dark Star mode. Yeah, let's all do a pants check. Who's Jasper Barnacle? <laughs> Is he? He's a golfer, right? Yeah, and he wears, he's got that, like, Tour, Tour de France hat or whatever, however he wears it. <laughs> I got the, uh, <laughs> in honor, in oh, honor gross, of the Wild no. potentially going no to the playoffs, I sausage. wore salmon shorts and flip-flops. Look, uh, look at AJ That's messaging awesome. over here saying, hey, guys, it's uh, free to win whenever you want. We couldn't get Moss. But, I mean, this is like an unbelievably fun time in the Purge. I had no idea yeah, how this is, fantastic yeah. this is. You know? This is the Avengers of Brazzers. What's Brazzers, by the way? I actually don't get that bit. Okay. I don't either. Okay. okay. Yeah, right. I had I had a comb for my unibrow for the, uh, for the virtual happy hour bit. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen those videos where the guy shows up to fix the cable, but then they just have sex? Yeah. I don't get the brand. I don't get. I mean, I get. I get the lettering. I, I mean, hey, there's the Carl Gerbschmidt. Where? Oh, Carl Gerbschmidt's on here. Sicky, sicky, sicky. Where is he? He's, can't you see oh, the he is. messaging? Sicky, sicky, sicky. Hey, how much seriously when he's oh, not working on Roadkill and his wife goes to bed at 9 p.m.? Just how much does Carl Gerbschmidt mash on those websites? You know, just constantly and and don't act like no we all. No more than we do. Don't act like yeah. we all haven't done this. Just constantly, like looking over his shoulder, <laughs> see if somebody came around the corner. Bad choice of words. Oh, damn, I think. Damn, I think I hear somebody coming down the stairs. Damn it. Yeah, those are awful choice of words. Don't know, Ooh, Kim, don't come in here. I'm busy. Damn. <laughs> mm. uh, all right. All right. I've given all I can give. I yep, me too. I got to go home and go to bed and uh, go to that website. Um, the schedule, oh, man. The schedule, I think, is pretty cool. Hopefully, we get all those preseason games in seriously. Um, yeah. just, just, I mean, quick, serious, like great. sports radio, nine to noon guy. Um, the the chances of getting all four preseason games in 
what you wouldn't hear during the Vikings virtual happy hour, man, I, I think it's very, very dicey. I mean, Nordo and I have been talking about like guessing about when, you know, teams can get back and stuff like that and how Goodell's going to handle it. And I'm like, if the Vikings get back in July, now you got like conditioning and then OTAs and then some form of training camp that's going to get you to August. You know, when this train, when uh, preseason is supposed to start. So it's pretty cool. Specifically, week three at Stefanski and Baker Mayfield. That seems unbelievable. Um, it's, um, you know, I wrote about all this on, on my show page, KFAN.com, but I think it's interesting. The commissioner, and I haven't seen anybody else's schedule. I think it's interesting. They put Indy, Tennessee, and Houston week two, three, and four. I mean, if you have to whack games or postpone them, might as well be AFC games. But what's weird with that is they put Green Bay first. So I can't yeah. quite get from that. And then you know, when we win the division, it begins November 8th. Uh, beat the Lions at home. You got all these home games. So it's Christmas in New Orleans. That sounds fantastic. Uh, at Ford Field at the end. I mean, the, the whole thing looks fantastic. I just honestly hope we get it all. Well, I want to go to Cincy as well. I mean, Cincy, cool opportunity, potentially sneak on to Zimmer Ridge Ranch with the big fountain and the four-wheelers yeah. with the over-unders. I mean, yeah. the, the the preseason aspect of it is so cool. It's the last laid-back part of the year that you'll see from a lot of the people that we love yeah. before everything gets serious and cutting down rosters. But – I think this is a pain in a pain in the ass schedule on the front end. If you get out of it alive, though, like you said, that's where the division is won. Is right after you rest week seven. Seahawks, Seahawks gone. <clears throat> yeah, Seahawks better save his yeah. money for the end of that season, man. At New Orleans means at Harrah's, and at Detroit means at Greek Town. So <laughs> forget the games. You that's a save tough. Your money. That's a tough paycheck week for Mr. Hockey. Paycheck? Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, bless you guys. Can't wait to see you next Monday. Tap on me if you need anything. Uh, nice to clomp on in here and join this bit. Glad we're doing it. And um, talk to you guys later. Yeah, thanks, Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for all the uh, 500 One more. rooms that watched. One yeah. more. Yes. Ready, Nordo? I'm ready. Hey. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so you guys are doing a happy hour tomorrow, right? Oh. F you. Yeah, at 7 o'clock, it'll be great. Me, Corey, and Hockey, and then I think a couple other people. It'll be a really fun time. Thanks to uh, Bud Light Seltzer, Michelob Golden. It'll be really fun. That's at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, what do you guys got tomorrow? Oh, God, there's Damien again. What do you have tomorrow, um, 9 to noon? Yeah, it's it's me in charge. Another uh, mental maintenance day for the host, and so we'll do. Uh, it's uh, Viking schedule release. We're going to continue to break it down. Chad Greenway's in the mix. A lot of football talkers. Keith Law for some baseball related intel. Not only Major League Baseball as it is now, but uh, he wrote a book that is uh, that is awesome. So we're going to talk about that. But it's a it's a charge led feast, and uh, we'll party it up Friday. But then of course it's you and I Saturday noon to two, right? Oh, you've already given up, so now I'm just talking to myself. Hey, everybody out there, we love you. Oh, there's AJ. What's up, homie? I was just going to let you know that uh, I don't know what happened to Paul, but his camera's dead, so he's gone. No, I think he just got a nude via direct message on Twitter, so he's got to go. Uh, thank you to everybody, by the way, whether you were watching Vikings.com earlier, whether you listened to us from 6.30 to 7 uh, on the fan before we went live. Uh, clearly PA has cracked in this purge. So, you know, that's something as the producer of nine to noon, I continue uh, to worry about and be affected by one way or the other. Uh, but God bless you all power trip tomorrow, nine to noon. We'll cover the schedule front to back and then, uh, all kinds of virtual happy hours and things, but, uh, love you all. Appreciate you. Have a great night.